In the last Figma redesign update, the UI3, some features changed its place. I've received some questions regarding creating component properties into this new UI. So in this video, I'll share with you how you can create components with text, boolean, instance and variant properties. And we will use, as an example, our friendly button component. At the end of this video, you will know how to do it. So let's break down this topic. If you know already what are component properties, you may jump to the chapter create component. If you don't know yet, keep watching this chapter and I'll explain it quickly. Variants, as the name said, are variants of a component. Let's say this button that we will create has already three variants, small, middle and large. If you look here at the sidebar, you can change the button to small, button middle and button large. Then we have instances, which can be applied in our button, for example, to swap icons. So in this case, the icon have instances and if we go to the sidebar, you have this property and may change the icon to another icon. Then we have text. In the sidebar, you have the ability to change the text. So instead of this, you can change to whatever you want. And the last one is Boolean. If you look again to the sidebar, you see that you can toggle on and off the icon and the text and whatever properties you have configured. Looks cool, so let's see how to do it. So first let's create our button component. You can press T or here down below in the toolbar, you have this T for text and just click it and type button small. Next, you will apply the auto layout. So you can press shift A or right click add auto layout and let's apply some styles here. So let's add a fill just here, the corner radius and add some Paddings. Now we can make it a component. So before you have the icon to create a component here on top. Now you have here on the right sidebar. So we have this icon here, create component, but you can also go to your frame, right click, create component or use the shortcut command option K. So let's click here on the top and right hand side create component and we can add an icon here. So let's go here to our local components and select each one. I will select this one, copy, paste inside our frame. And I have now my button with a text and an icon property here inside. Now let's add properties here and we will start by using variants. So before you also had the variants here on top, but now they moved here to the right hand side and you have this plus icon that you can add a variant. So if I click it, I have now one variant more of my button and I can still click here to add another one. Since we will use different sizes, let's call this one with button mid and this one large and adjust here a few things just to notice the changes. So it's not aligned, but doesn't matter for the purpose of this tutorial. You will understand how you can create your properties. Okay, the button is created with the, its variants. Now let's change its names. So we can call this property size. And then we can call this one small, medium, large so that we know the size is applied to the button and if I click and drag using the option key an instance to this size you can see here on the right hand side that I have the property size and you can already switch between the size of the button we want to work on next up let's talk about instances and instances let's say we want to change the icons that we have here in our button as you saw here in our icon library or design system, we have more icons and I want to switch them. So right now I only have this check mark, but I want to be able to change to another icon inside of the properties of this button. So what you need to do is select the icon and go here on the right hand side and you have this create instance swap property. You can click and it will create uh, swap property. So instead of instance, we can call it icon 
and we can select right now the check mark we can maintain that and we will create the property and we will do the same here on the middle medium button so here you have the apply instance swap property and we have here the icon and in this case you need to do this for every variant so for example right now i have done it only for the small and the medium button so as you can see here on the right hand side the icon property is already here and i am able to change okay i mean the button with the size small but if i change to medium i still have it because i apply it manually but if i switch to large as you can see it doesn't have the property here apply it so you need to go here and manually one by one you need to apply that property to each one so here you select and apply instant swap and you simply select the icon property that you you created and as you can see it's, it's already updated here so if i now switch you can see that the large button has icon the medium also and the small also pretty easy right now let's move to the text property which also changed its place but it's very similar to how we apply instances so in this case let's select the text layer of this button the small one and here if you look to the typography panel on the right hand side you have here this icon close to the label button small and if you click it will prompt this dialog let's change this to button label for example and the value let's type subscribe do you know what i mean subscribe the channel if you are enjoying the video okay now you can create the property and as you can see we have here the button label apply it and like our icon instances we need to do the same here so here let's go to button medium and apply the button label and as you can see automatically updates and the same here so button large to button label okay so now if i duplicate here an, an instance i can switch between sizes of buttons i can switch between icons and also i can change the button label so now i have subscribe let's try and put like the video then the last one apply boolean properties now we have our subscribe button with text and icon but it can be moments that i don't want to have text or i don't want to have icons so how can we apply the boolean properties you can go here and select the icon for example and simply go to appearance which previously was considering layer but now they call it appearance and if you click here you can create a boolean property so you click here and it, it says show icon and we can change to as icon for example and let's keep it true and the same here so you select the text layer and you go to appearance and you select create properties has label okay and you need to do the same for the other one so select here subscribe go here in as label then here for the icon go to appearance as icon the same here for the large button appearance as label and for the icon so now if i drag here an instance and you may see that we have now this toggle on and off the icon or the label so for example in this case if i don't want the icon I can simply click here and I only show the label and the other thing is also true so if I show the icon I can hide the label and it will only show the icon and for example if I still hide I can still change the icons change the size of the button okay and do whatever you want with these component properties and that's it i hope now you can create your component properties with these new ui and updates that figma launches recently if you enjoyed the video please leave the like and subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and i'll see you in my next video thank you and have a great day